Welcome back to another video. Today we are making a wonderful scotch cocktail. This is the Gilchrist. So this was created by bartender Daniel Un for the PDT cocktail book, and it was created for his flute repairman who went by the name of Bob Gilchrist, hence the name. So this is going to start with an ounce and a half of blended scotch. I'm of course using my Isla Mist. It's my favorite scotch for cocktails. Um, it's got a nice robust uh, scotch flavor, but it also has that nice smoky peaty flavor that I love in scotch. But of course use whichever scotch you want. Next up, it uh, calls for three quarter ounce of pear brandy. Now I have trouble finding pear brandy, but what I do have is this Hungarian pear liqueur, a golden pear, and it is most likely sweeter than a straight pear brandy, but it still has a wonderful flavor, and I've used it many times in cocktails when it call for pear brandy, so I'm gonna use it here as well. So three quarter ounce of your pear brandy or pear liqueur, whatever you happen to have. After that, we need some citrus. We're gonna get that in the form of three quarter ounce of grapefruit juice. All right, and for our last ingredient, we're gonna do a half an ounce of Amaro Averna. So this is gonna add some nice kind of herbal spice and bitterness. It's actually fairly sweet, I find, for, for an Amaro. I think once you've adapted to the taste of Campari, after that, every Amaro is pretty mild. <laughs> okay, after that, we have two dashes of Angostura orange bitters. I actually did two dashes there. Hooray for me. And that's the drink, guys. Those are, those are the ingredients. So we're going to fill our shaking glass with ice. We're going to then grab a tin, do a flippy move, and we're gonna give this guy a good 15, 20 second shake. We've got some citrus in there, so we wanna make sure to really force these ingredients together. Don't forget to follow me. Instagram, I am there, Rob IMX. All right, slap it to unseal. To serve this, we, oh, that smells good. To serve this, we are going to use a chilled coop. It's been sitting in the freezer for a while. Let's grab our Hawthorne strainer. You could double strain this. I rarely double strain. I'm not too worried about little bits of ice. They might show up. It doesn't really bother me. Okay, look at that color. Isn't that a nice color? Dark orange. Okay, for garnish, we're gonna do a peel of grapefruit. This is actually the same grapefruit that I juiced. So I cut the peel before cutting into it, obviously. So we're gonna rub it around, and I actually made this peel way too big. I could have cut it down, made it a little, you know, more appealing to look at, but yeah, didn't do it. And there you have it. There is the Gilchrist cocktail. So this was definitely really enjoyable. Um, on the nose, I immediately got that kind of candied pear flavor from the uh, Hungarian golden pear. Um, followed by kind of a spicy aroma from the Averna. And then on the palate, at front and center, we get the scotch, nice bold flavor, that peatiness, that smokiness, um, that evolves into a sweet pear flavor. And then on the finish, you get kind of that bitterness from the Averna. Uh, a really good drink, very similar to the Blood and Sand cocktail. I did that one back, in, back during uh, Halloween. If you remember, that's the video where I sliced off my finger. <laughs> Click on the link if you want to see that. But it's very similar to the Blood and Sand, but it's got its own thing going too. Um, I really like this one. I do definitely recommend it. If you like scotch cocktails, give this one a try. And that's it, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.